remiss. We're a local ministry here to offer help and support if you're pregnant. If you're here for an abortion today, please come talk with us. Whatever needs you have that would lead you to this place, our ministry will help meet those needs. You don't have to leave here with the guilt of having killed your child. Your baby doesn't deserve that. You know your child had a beating heart by just three weeks into your pregnancy? Think about that. Consider that as you're waiting, that your child has a beating heart just like you. Measurable brain waves by five weeks into your pregnancy. How can you justify killing your child? Your little boy or your little girl created in God's image and likeness. And God says He hates the hands that shed innocent blood. He hates that. The God who gives you life, I want to encourage you not to sin against Him and your child and take your baby's life. Miss, this is no place to leave someone you care about. Every one of us will be held accountable for the things we do, our choices we make. Some choices are evil. They're wrong. They can't be justified. One of those choices is killing a child, to rape, to murder, to hurt an innocent person. And think about the gravity of actually choosing not just to hurt an innocent person, but to actually mutilate and dismember our own children, our defenseless children. God's Word says it's appointed to every man and woman once to die, and after that, the judgment. God keeps good books. Nothing escapes His watch. He's given us clear commands to love our children, to provide for our babies. Clear commands not to murder innocent children. Yet here we are at A Capital Woman's Health Clinic where people are coming, paying money for a stranger to expose them and murder their own precious children. And it doesn't have to happen if you don't have family support. If you don't have a mother and father, a boyfriend or a husband, or are willing to do the right thing and provide for you and help you, even in a hard situation, one you didn't expect, there are people here who are willing to help you, to stand with you, to help you get on your feet and to do the right thing. Because one thing is sure, it's never the right thing. It's never a good option to kill a child. There's no situation that can justify killing a child or legitimize that. You shall not murder is the clear teachings of the God who gives you life, the God who sent His Son to die for you, the God who gives you breath. Don't sin against that God. Don't sin against your own child. Don't sin against your own soul. If you need help, there's help, but do know that you will have to answer to that God for your rebellion and your hatred toward your own children and your hatred toward that God. Do the right thing and leave before it's too late.